It's Tara again with Smart Deploy. We are on our last getting started video, video number nine. We are going to deploy our image. There are so many ways that we can deploy image and the way that you have created your boot media is going to dictate how you deploy the image. I am going to refer you to our documentation because there's so many ways to deploy it. You're going to want to follow along. I'm going to show you how to do a console initiated deployment today. This console initiated deployment uses the deployment package boot media that we created in the previous video. So I'm going to go to my console and navigate to the computer management page and I'm going to click on Cinnamon Toast Crunch because my computers are named after cereal and then put a check mark and I'm going to hit action and then right here I'm gonna hit image and you'll see deployment comes up. I have images saved on this distribution point, which happens to be my central server. This is a good time to remind you that distribution points are local or cloud locations where you can store your images and deployment packages. So you can deploy more efficiently to the closest endpoints. For example, if you're deploying to machines in the Seattle office, the best option is to deploy from the Seattle distribution point. If you're deploying to work from home user devices, you might want to deploy from a cloud distribution point, which is basically your corporate cloud storage account. If you'd like to learn more about distribution points in Smart Deploy, check out the knowledge-based article linked in the video description. We are going to pick a deployment package because I have created those. You're going to see I have some options here. If I want to allow the user to defer, maybe they're really busy. I can schedule it as well if I want to do it at a certain time and deploy. Could it be any easier? I don't really think so. That's it. And again, remember, there are other ways to do it. You can do the USB deployment. You can do a Pixie boot if you want. Refer to our documentation on how to initiate those type deployments. You are ready. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm Tara with Smart Deploy.